This mystery box has one of the cutest fidget toy pets. Yes, you heard. Fidget toy pets. In a mystery box. For those of you who don't know, Puppet Pets is the most adorable and interactive mystery box that I have the pleasure of playing around with. Previously, we've done season one, where we got different kinds of characters, whether they color change or they glow in the dark. They were just so fun because these mystery boxes come with stickers, character cards, and a little bit of everything to keep you interested in this actual set. But, 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 today we have season two and it seems to come in a gold kind of packaging, whereas season one comes in a holographic silver type packaging. And I did notice that one of the pets looked like panties. I don't know the panties. I'm getting panty pets. <laughs> Nice. Now, full disclosure, you can see we have five different packages here. Those were sent to me by the company themselves. Initially, I bought them myself, but the company saw that I absolutely love them, so they messaged me. They're like, hey, Jackie, do you want to try Poppy Pets? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. I love Poppy Pets. They're like, we have season two for you. I'm like, send it over. Just send it. So even though they did send this to me, my opinions will always be honest because I like to make sure that you grains do save your money. And in each one of these, we will be getting five different surprises so we can get any kind of of pets over here, five trading cards, five stickers, a collector's grid, a keychain, and basically there's 17 entire surprises in the whole thing. So before we unbox, let me know which kind of fidget toy pet would you like to see in this series? I'm really curious. I love dinosaurs and they've already added dinosaurs, so I'm curious. I want some panties. Like I said, I want some panties. I want, I want the panty pets. <laughs> and while you're down there, and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there, which will make you a grain of salt in the Salt Shaker family. We welcome you in. If you grains haven't picked up your very own Creatures of Darkness coloring book that was made by me, Muse Kits, and Sarah Rose, they are still available for grabs. In this kit, you're going to be getting 22 gorgeous illustrations of my sculptures with a Disney villain-esque type feel to them, as you can see on the screen. 16 saturated, vibrant watercolor papers by Viviva. And these are an exclusive palette chosen for this kit. 12 buttery, smooth, and pigmented colored pencils. A Creatures of Darkness washi tape that has a rainbow array of the creatures with a dark background. And water brushes to make your watercoloring more convenient. This kit is made with beginners in mind since I am also a beginner when it comes to watercolors. But I had so much fun coloring with watercolors when I played with it last time, so I figured why not share the fun? And we have three different price points. If you want to get the bundle, it is $39.99. The digital copy is $22.99, but if you want both the digital and the kit, they are $49.99. So you're getting a $75 value in that price tag. Again, I'll leave the link down below. And I have to say, I absolutely love browsing the submissions that you greens have been sending me of your own coloring interpretation of these pages. And again, huge thank you to everyone for the amazing support around this project. So since we have five different packages, we should be seeing 25 different pets. So let's go ahead and just move these over there to the side, like so. And then we're gonna stop with this one. All right, first things first that I notice is that they do tape the top, which is very, very good. Since we don't want nobody doing the stealing in the stores because it happened to me when I was getting the Disney Dorables and this ended up happening. Wait a minute, these are all open. So someone actually opened all of these and put them back inside. Now I have no idea what these stickers are from the company, so I'm not sure. Is this a four? That is a four. I don't know what we're looking for. <laughs> And we have a little stopper over here. So let's open this up. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Can I get you? There we go. All right, so first impressions, it's basically the same thing as the first one. We should be seeing six little baggies, I think, if it's the same thing. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six, exactly. Anything else? No. Hello, I am a new box to bag of things. <laughs> I'm sorry. And one of these is going to be the keychain and the character holder. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's this one. No, maybe? I think it was the green ones. I can't tell. I can't tell anymore. So we're just gonna go ahead and open them. And for those of you wondering, yes, the QR codes work and they will bring you straight onto their website so you can check out all the different characters, their names, where they belong on the map and so forth. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me show you. And first pack of the day. What do we get? What are you? A flamingo. That's cute. And you know what? I think the color is a little on the pale side. So we're gonna go ahead and bring my trusty felt over here. And this is our flamingo pet. Let's hear that pop. Let's push it in and pop. 
Not bad. And this one has a glittery type effect. We have the sticker. Very cute. Look at the little smile. And in here, we have the character. Character's name is Gigi. Oh, it color changes. Okay, we're gonna have to start taking out the UV. The birthday is June 23rd. These are their likes, so pink, Posing and Summer Sun. This is the things they don't like. We have haters, Windy Days and Dogs. And these are their friends. We have Tulip, Norman, and Strawberry. So these are this character's friends. I love the fact that they do have BFFs. And not only that, we do have a collector little spot over here so you can put it on a little keychain. And in the back, we also have a piece of a puzzle to show you the entire map of the environment of where this character lives. That's what I'm saying. This mystery box has so much to offer. Now, since this character color changes in UV, I don't have sunlight. So we're going to be using a UV light to check out the color change. So let's look at it here. It is in pink. Let's shine the light right on and see how quick, oh my, that really changed colors. What the shrimp? And you can see them here side by side, but as you can also see, the color does go back to the pink pretty quickly. But that is a really neat feature. Again, let's hear that pop in, out. It's very soft. Next one, what do we have? Oh, that is a big one. What, a, is that a crayon? That is a crayon. And it has a little winky face right on top and the other side is a happy face. Push it in and out. That's a nicer pop. I've removed the felt just so that we can get a little clear image here. So we have a little crayon. It looks like it also has glitter. So we have a bit of a sparkly red going on here. They, there you go. There's the shimmer. And what is your name? This one is Raz. Comes from a big and colorful family. What? It's scented. That's new. They didn't have scented before, except for that one time for Easter. <gasps> no, I just got goosebumps. She smells like cherry. Oh, I like that. It's not a nasty cherry. It actually smells good. Okay, and I don't usually like cherry, but it smells like cherry. It really does smell good. And the sticker. And the birthdays in February. These are the likes, dislikes, and of course, their friends. This is what the piece of the puzzle looks like in the back. I am impressed. This is really cool. I didn't think that they would make anything scented as part of their season two, but this just levels up the product. I already really loved it, and the fact that it has scented is great. Again, my opinions will be honest, so don't worry about that. I got you. What do we have over here? Okay, and what is that? Two different colors. We have a telephone character. Oh, look at that. Here we have a smiley face, and on the other side, we have a little shocked face. This is an old school telephone that has a wire on it. So you couldn't really go very far when you had a phone back in the days. So let's hear that pop. Very nice. Look at that. That's an extra fidget element. So this is really fun. I love the texture. So in addition to being pops, they also have some texture on some of them, not all of them. Let's find out. So here's our character sticker. And this one is Gabby. Gabby is chatty and loves to get wrapped in good conversation. This is the birthday, likes, dislikes, and friends. Look at that. Norman shows up twice. I really hope we get Norman. And we can look over here. There's no change to the character or additions to the character here. Really, we really need to get Norman. What is this? I think that's a player, a vinyl player, I think. So we have a little bit of an old school vibe so far. Let's see the face. We have XC face over here. And the other side, same thing. Oh, this one's gonna be a good pop. Yes. That's a nice pop. It's really solid. I love this one. And look at the little glitters. They're different colors, a little bit of everywhere. This is cute. I like that a lot. And what is your name? Super Spinner. It's a glow in the dark. Super Spinner is the perfect pal. He's social, friendly, playful, and humble. These are the likes, dislikes, and friends. Mooney Mouse. Wait, who, who's Mooney Mouse? When we get the character guide, I'm curious who Norman and Mooney Mouse are. Oh, and this is the back of the card over here. And here's the character sticker. Not much of a glow. I would have loved to see little speckles of glow, not just the middle. I think this might actually be the character guide over here. There we go, yes. So with the character guide, we get a little keychain that you can use either for your actual fidget friends. So you just have to open it and put it over here, like so, and then put it on your bag, your backpack, wherever you want, or you can even use it to keep and collect your cards, like so. So that way they're all together. All right, and this is what I'm interested in. So we have the character guide. Now in the past, I was a little bit more critical saying that I really wish these were actually in color, but many of you grains said that the reason they're black and white is because they're made so that you can put your stickers on there and know which ones you've collected. So basically, like this, and we stick it like a so. There we go. Then it actually ends up becoming colorful because you got the stickers. Sometimes I'm not the smartest. <laughs> I feel like I need you grains to help me because I'm not, like I'm not the brightest, okay? I need you. But now I'm looking for Mooney Mouse 
and Norman. Okay, so here's Norman the gnome. Interesting. And Moody Mouse seems to be an alien mouse. Super cool. Okay, hopefully we get either of them today. Another thing I noticed is I love the fact that companies make things recyclable. So I really truly do appreciate that. A bicycle! What is that? They've gotten really creative. So we have a little bit of a dizzy face over here, which I'm really loving. And on this side, we have a happy face. So let's go ahead and hear those pops. Those are solid. It's not a flimsy silicon. I really like that. Let's hear you. Cute. Again. I love the crunch on the way in. Yeah, loving it. Cute. And your name is Wheelie and Cruiser. Oh, there's two of them. They live for rides around neighborhoods. There's nothing better than the wind in your face and a friend on your side. Birthday, likes, dislikes, friends. And here's the environment in the back over here. We have our sticker. Next one. All good. I really should have paid attention on what color the uh, the baggie was for the character guide. Hey, kid editor, do you remember what color the actual guide was? Because I really don't remember. Here they are. So we have our five surprises plus the character guide. Oh, there we go. This is the character guide and the actual keychain right here, which is a different color. All right, I'm going to keep an eye on this. So now it's like yellow, pink, and teal-ish. I'm going to have to remember that. Maybe they're always different. I don't know. So now we know every one of these is the next pet. Oh, that is cute. And this one is different because the face is actually the uh, poppets over here. And here we have the mouth. So instead of the actual round parts being the character faces, it's the entire thing. And here we have a boom box. Oh, look at that. Here we have a shocked face. And here we have a happy face. Let's hear that go. Quiet on the inside. Quiet. And then nice pops. And I absolutely love the texture on top over here. It feels really nice. If I want to fidget and feel some texture, this feels really good. And you know what? Having this little part over here is probably another part that I would like to fidget on. Yeah, I like that. This one offers quite a bit. I have to say this green and blue swirly is really, really neat. But let's find out more about this character. And its name is Mega Boomer. Just like his cousin Boomer, Mega Boomers knows how to get a party bumpin'. This one is also glow in the dark. Birthday. We have likes, dislikes and friends. Here's what the back of the map looks like. I'm not quite sure what these little dotted lines are. I'm guessing this is where the characters are. So then my question is, does the sticker fit over here? I don't think so. Or maybe this could be a different place to put stickers. I'm not sure yet. You go boomer. That is a nice glow effect. Ooh! oh, the blob fish. No way. Oh my goodness. What is that? Is that an extra piece of silicon? Yes, we have an extra piece of silicon. I was just kind of hanging out. But look at this. We have the cute blobfish and it's smiling on the other side. Okay, you're cute. And the fact that these characters are marbled, you can see that there's a solid color and then a translucent color makes this a lot more interesting to look at, which I really like. Let's hear that pop. This is going to be a very light pop. Yeah. Still sounds good. It's really cute. And what is your name? Blobby. Also glow in the dark. R really interesting. Blobby lives deep in the ocean where there's not a lot of company. Oh no, poor Blobby. This is the birthday, what they like, dislike, and their friends. Our blobfish seems very unhappy. I would really love to see more different colors of the glow. There definitely are glow pigments that are different colors. By the way, let me know which character do you share the closest birthday to. Don't give me dates. Just let me know which character do you share the closest birthday to? I'm waiting for a December baby. And of course the sticker. A blue character. Oh my goodness, the texture on this. Ooh, Ooh yeah. Oh, I love the texture on this. It feels so good. What are you? It's a little cactus. So we have a happy face on both sides. Let's hear the pop. That went in nice. Oh, very good. That is nice. There's even a little flower at the top over here. And I have to tell you, the extra textures on this one are absolutely phenomenal. I think this one is going to be color changing, but let's see. And this one's name is Pierce. Yes, it is color change with heat. So Pierce is from the desert, likes hot weather. Here are the likes, dislikes, and friends. And here's the birthday. So I'm already seeing the color change because it's going paler, but here it is before. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in my hand for just a little bit longer. And here it is after. So you can see them side by side. It's just a small color change from dark to light, which is still really fun. I love this one a lot. And it's fun to actually just fidget with one hand. 
They're really cool to put them in your pocket too. Oh, and here's the back of the card and the sticker. Oh, this one feels small. What are you? French fries. Oh, with a mustache. Oh my God. I love mustachos. I'm a huge fan of little mustachos. Here we have French fries with a mustache. Does it have a different face? No, it's mustache all the way. Let's push it in and let's push it out. Nice. That's a good pop. In. Yes, very nice. What is your name? And it is Frenchie. Always takes his time and arrives fashionably late. Is Frenchie me? Am I Frenchie? You are, you are, you are, you are. Here's the birthday. Oh my goodness, they love salt. So Frenchie and I are definitely friends. These are the dislikes and these are the friends. Kobe and Patty. Is that a steak or a burger? We're gonna find out. And here's what it looks like in the back. I have to say, so far this edition's making me really happy. And here's the cute sticker. At first I didn't like the stickers, but now that I know that you're supposed to use the stickers to put them in the little album, I'm different. I've changed. Okay, who are you? Mutant Max? Why did we look at this first? Hang on, I'm supposed to look. I don't know why it got my attention. What? I've seen strawberries like that. We've all seen strawberries like that. Here's a picture of a funny looking strawberry. We've all seen funny looking strawberries. <laughs> this is cute. Oh, look at that. There's an angry face on the other side and there's quite a bit of texture on the other side here and here. So let's pop it. Yes, in. Very good. I like this one. I like it a lot. And I'm pretty sure it's color change or glow in the dark. I thought I saw. Yeah, this one. Scented too? Y'all, poppet pets are loving, 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 loving it up. I can't talk no more. I'm so excited. I'm, they're seriously leveling it up. So this one's birthday is the 27th. You know what? I won't sniff it. <laughs> I'm interrupting myself. I need to sniff this. It does smell like strawberry milkshake. Kind of like Nesquiki. Nice and sweet. I like that. So here are the likes, dislikes, and friends. And of course, the birthday. Here's what the environment looks like. And the sticker. Our strawberry glows only at the top stem. Let's keep those going because this is just way too much fun. So let's see if the actual packaging for the character guide, I think it's right. I think it is the same color. So let's see if this is true. Yes. So all of these ones are the character guide and the keychain thing. And our first pet is, oh, we have our first double. So here we have Pierce. Again, if there's a double for us to get, it's definitely this one because it has phenomenal texture. As long as we don't get too many doubles. And now I'm actually curious, if we're going to get more doubles, it means that there's a pattern to the way that they package them. But hopefully that's not the case. And who do we get? No, that's a new one. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's going to change with UV light. I have a feeling this one's going to change with UV light or heat or something. It's definitely color change. Let's put our felt and let's get you grains a little closer. So we have a Sunday character. Let's see that pop. Not too bad. And what are you? Oh, this is a glow scented and glow in the dark. <coughs> okay, so we're definitely going to be smelling this. So far, this character is the closest one to my birthday because this is in November. Likes, dislikes, and friends. Sunday lives life to the fullest. Okay, very cute. So we're gonna check out the glow in the dark right after this. Here's what the back of the card looks like. And I'm gonna sniff you. <laughs> Interesting. The scent is really, really light, but it kind of smells like a slushy or a popsicle, like the blue ones. And I don't know if it's hard to tell, but there's a little bit of colors around the character. So you can see here's a little purplish, here's a little bit yellow, and the same thing on the face. It's really bright. I wish they had made this one actually colorful instead of a translucent color, just because it would be more fitting to the character. But you know what? I think it might make a difference in Glow in the Dark. And our sticker. Here we have the sorbet, or well, the ice cream. I'm kind of sad that there aren't multiple different colors because the actual shade of the figurine is very pale. So I would have loved to see an extra special item to this. I know it's scented, but you know what I mean. Oh, this one's colorful. A light bulb. Here we have a cute light bulb. Look at that face. You have no business being this cute. Let's hear you pop. Yes, texture down here is very nice. It would be interesting to know if these are non-toxic in case they're good for chew toys too. This character's name is Eureka. Lives for that moment. Loves learning and growing. This is her birthday and a glow in the dark. They really have a lot of glow in the dark characters this time. Kudos likes, dislikes, and friends. Here's what the back looks like. So it kind of looks like a barnyard, maybe a school, not sure. A little light bulb being very lady under the dark. Oh, we have another double. Here we have the crayon. And this one, if I remember correctly, scented. Yeah, 
It smells like cherry. Again, four doubles. I'm not too mad, but again, I would like to see less of those doubles. But I think there's a 65 to collect. You know what? Let's let's double check because we have this page and this page. A hundred. It says over a hundred new pets to collect. Okay, so we shouldn't be seeing doubles this soon. Okay, luck of the draw. We shouldn't be seeing them too soon. Oh, this is new. Is that a fork? That's definitely a fork. Let's get our felt. And we have a fork character. Let's do that pop. Oh, that is a soft one. Not too bad. It's actually pretty good. And here's what it looks. Oh, it has two different faces. There's a little face with the tongue sticking out over here. And the other side, just a happy face. And we do have a silver type glitter on both sides. What is your name? Sporky. Oh, it's a spork. It makes sense, because it's a spoon fork. And it's part of the town council. I think this is a more rare card, but I could be wrong. This is the birthday, likes, dislikes, eggs, and salad. What about egg salad? I love egg salad. And they're friends. And here's what the back looks like. I feel like one of the things that they're missing is telling us which part of the map they belong to, but I think that's going to be in the character guide. Yes. So this is basically what the entire map looks like when put together and all the characters collected. Actually, we can see how many characters. Give me a dash darn darn second. 50. There's 50 pieces of the map. So I think there's 50 new characters, but over 100 total pets. I think I might actually have to count them manually. <laughs> it does say 50. It was just me. I totally derped. The box, the package, I was just about to say, Pop it, Pets, you need to say where it is. It legitimately says 50 pets to collect. So it makes sense that we're seeing doubles when we're unboxing unpo unpo 25. <laughs> Why can't I talk? Give me some English, y'all, please. I promise it'll automatically go back to you at the end of the video. Thank you so much. I appreciate, y'all are the best. Don't sneak that. No, I saw you sneak that in. Kitty editor, take that out. Thank you for taking it out. Now I'm going to consume the English and I should be okay now. And here's Sporky's <laughs> sticker. I love the eyes. Off we go. And this should be our keychain and character guide. Yes. So it's good to know that the colors really do show what we get. We have a pink one this time. And here's the new characters. Maybe we're going to get Norman. I forget the name. This is, no, I love this one, but I didn't want to see you too soon. Let's hear that pop. Very nice. Actually, I'm curious if the color patterns are the same. So here's the smiley face on this side and then the shocked face on that side. And you can see the color patterns are very different. So if you do like different color patterns, I really do like this one more. I mean, even if they are double, they're slightly different. Oh, no way. I was just about to say, we need, we need the gnome. We got the gnome. <laughs> no. That is both frightening and adorable at the same time. We actually have a face with a nose. This one's pretty solid as a piece. Let's hear that pop. Yes. Very nice pop on this character. Very nice. Same face on both sides. Happy and happy. And this character's name is Norman. We've been looking for Norman because Norman is friends with many others. Guardian of Grandma's Gardens. Here's the birthday. We have the likes, dislikes, and friends. And here's what the back looks like. Imagine they're not each other's friends. That would be terrible. <laughs> It's like, my best friend is Norman. Norman's like, Gabby, actually, you're not my best friend. <laughs> so this is cute. So we have Norman and the colors are pretty cool. And we have our Norman sticker. Who are you? Ooh, I like the colors. This one's called Skipper. We already saw this one. I think this is a mud skipper, which is an actual creature. Here it is on the screen. You can see a mud skipper. It lives in the water and comes out of the water and walks on land. It's a walking fish, I think. I could be wrong. Kitty Editor's educating us right now. But I really love the look of this one. So the pop here is the mouth. Let's hear it. Very nice. Very good. I do like the textures. They're not as good as, as some of the other ones, but it's okay. This one's name is Skipper, also glow in the dark. It loves screaming, that's hilarious. This is the birthday, this is what it dislikes, and this is their friend. So here's what it looks like, and here's the back of the map, and our sticker. That is really nicely lit, I love this. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. That is cute, we have a pencil, and it has two characters. That's cute. So here we have a happy face with open mouth and again, happy face with closed eyes, but open mouth. And the other side is closed mouth, happy faces. So let's hear that pop. Nice. Again, let's push them in. And the other side push in. 
pretty good. And your names are Scholar and Scribble, also a town council character. This is the birthday. They have likes, dislikes, and friends. Blot and Inky. I really do want the entire collection and stay tuned for a video. I have a surprise. Just stay tuned for a video coming up soon. And here's what the back of the map looks like. And of course, the sticker. Oh, look at you! A full alien? Okay, let's hear the pop on this. We have plenty of eyes on this side and then open eyes on the other side. So let's do it. That is pretty quiet. Nice! That was actually really nicely sound. Let's do that again. Very nice. I like that. Your name is Galactic Greg. Very nice. Is a cool dude and a new dad. Adorable. This is the birthday. Here we have glow in the dark. Favorites, dislikes, and friends. And here's what the back of the map looks like. And let's get our sticker. Here's our sticker. Congratulations on being a dad, Greg. Greg do be shining. These are too cute. I, I just, I can't, I can't get enough. This is not sponsored or affiliated, by the way. Y'all know I get grumpy, and so many of you are like, But Jackie, you're too grumpy. And then when I'm happy, you're like, Jackie, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm okay, I promise. This is going to be our character guide. Yes, and what color keychain? We have a pink one. Who do you be? Hello? Oh, what is that? Is that a cake? That is a cake. So it's a little harder to see, but we do have a birthday cake character who has one face. Let's pop that in. Oh. Very nice. I feel like this might be scented. If they played their cards right, this might be scented. Yes, scented and glowing. Again, this one is getting closer to my birthday. And the name is Silly Sprinkles. Always invited to Dizzy Dance Club parties. This is her likes, dislikes, and friends. Okay, let's let's give it a sniff. Hmm, interesting. It's not very strong scent. It also has this light popsicle kind of smell. I would like to have a more vanilla kind of scent to this, but it does smell sugary, but not strong enough. I re again, I would really like to see these ones level up their scent, but we have a glow in the dark. Here's the back of the card, our sticker. Here's what our little cake looks like as glow in the dark. Oh, a teddy bear. That's cute. We have a glittery teddy bear. You can see the shimmer here when I move. Back and forth, we get reds and a little bit of a sparkly silvery sheen. Very nice. Oh, two different faces? No, that's one. Let's pop it in and out. And it looks the same on the other side. Voila. What is your name? Mama Bear. Scented. Okay. This is the birthday. Likes, dislikes, and oh, there's Bebe Bear. And it's written the same way I say Bebe. I say Bebe like this. <laughs> okay, so it does have a Bebe Bear. And it has a gummy and glowy. Interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a sniff. Again, feel free to always pause if you want to read the character descriptions. Here's what the back of the card looks like. Let's give you a good sniff. Cherry also. Pop it, pets. You're gonna need a bigger pool of scented stuff. So far, cherry is very pronounced, but the other ones are very mild. Our sticker. You are, oh, cute, a little flower. Oh my goodness, look at the face. Why does this face remind me kind of of Undertale? Flowey looks all cute and all that when it's all cute, but then when you make it in the wrong place, this is what Flowey looks like. Kind of looks, oh, why is there a pukey face? Let's push it in. Why is there a pukey face? And let's pop it. Oh, very mild. It's a very low pop. Still satisfying to push, but not satisfying to hear. And the fact that the stem here is very small, it's causing a little bit of a cramp over here. There's not much to hold on to. As you saw, it just dropped it. You saw nothing. So the design itself is not ergonomically ideal for fingers. Here you are. And your name is Whoopi. Oh, Whoopi is glow and scented. We're getting a lot of combinations here. We have the birthday, likes, dislikes, and friends. Oh, it's friends with Mega Boomer. You know what, let's cross-reference. Let's see if Mega Boomer considers Whoopi its friend. Okay, let's see here. Whoopi, yes. So this is Mega Boomer, and you can see the friend is Whoopi, and Whoopi's friend is Mega Boomer. Okay, they cross-reference, that's good. Imagine they weren't friends with each other. And let's take a sniff. Oh, that's different. I can't quite place it, but it has an earthy scent to it. I want to say it's a flower, but I don't smell the flower. To me, it smells a little bit more like, not in a bad way, but dirt. You know, a nice spring day where you smell dirt. I don't know, maybe I'm weird. <laughs> 
but it's not perfumey. It's very, very easy on the nose. Do you stick out? And the flower glows only at the bottom. So, meh, on this one. Oh, is that Greg again? That is Galactic Greg. So here we have Galactic Greg, who's a new father. I love this. Let's hear the pops. Wonderful. What? Uh, oh, this is a different one. Ooh, a ribbon. That's cute. This is a really solid piece. Here's, oh, glasses. There it is. Let's hear the pop. Nice solid pop. Let's push it in again. Not bad. The pop on the way in is definitely much nicer. So who are you, little ribbon? With the glasses showing off. The name is Honor. Honor is an achiever. Goes above and beyond. We have the birthday, likes, dislikes, and friends. Here's what the back of the map looks like. We have a Merca flag. It's a Merca. <laughs> and the sticker. So let me know which one was your favorite. I have to say the scented ones and also the gnome and the pencil and the cactus, they're just adorable. Actually, all of them are pretty adorable, except for the flower. Flower was a little hard to hold. If you want to watch the season one of Pop It Pets, I will link it up here. If you want to catch something a little crafty, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you grins in the next video.